How about the Mount Rushmore of baseball movies? <laughs> it's easy. Oh, no. Go ahead, Phil. Uh, Bull Durham. Hold on. I'm going to pull up the, some nominees here for you. Oh, you know, I mean, I, I could probably name about yeah. every baseball movie, but. I, I don't believe you can. I'm You're going to forget some. Rookie of the Year, Sandlot, The Rookie, For the Love of the Game. What is that? Bull Durham. Oh, is it? I'm listening. Field of Dreams. All right. Here, I'm going to name. Major League. Major League y'all, two. Y'all get ready Back to write to the minors, Major League. Y'all ready for this? I'm going to read. I'm just going to read off all the dang ones. Okay, this is, this is no in particular order. Even the women. What I'm was not, that one? I'm, I'm not going to name of their own. I'm not going to name any of the my wife ones I've different. never heard of. Uh, 42, you've got Moneyball, The Perfect 42 Game. 42 sucked. Mr. 3000 <laughs> with Bernie Mac, Bad News Bears, The Rookie. 61, Sandlot. Sandlot, Sandlot 2. Three. Sandlot 2 sucked. Summer Catch. Uh, League of Their Own, Field of Dreams, Major League, Rookie of the Year, The Natural, mm. Bull Durham, Bad News Bears, Angels in the Outfield, For the Love of the Game. Like Eight men out. Little big league. Mr. Baseball. Major League Two. Cobb. The Babe. The Scout. Major League Three. <laughs> Getting all down there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to go check on a couple sound things. With it. You guys can discuss and finish up. We'll get them nominated. I'll put together my final list. Basically, the easiest thing to do is everybody to choose one that you would have to say, that's on there no matter what. Yeah. All right. I'll go ahead and go with the first one that's easy, the the Sandlot. Yeah, I agree with that. It's got to yeah. be It's got to be on there. It's not my favorite, but. It's not my favorite, but I'm saying if you, if you put it on yeah. there. Secondly, um, mm, I mean, because you're talking about, like, he didn't even name Angels in the outfield. Yeah, I wouldn't even. That was list. good when I was a kid. I, I remember that one. Uh, um, I, I wouldn't put it on the top four. I, I you got I, you Field of miss. Dreams has definitely got to be yeah, on there. Ma- major well, League, I can do with that. Major, see, I like Major League, but is Major League comedy or for the baseball? I, that's what I was thinking in my Cause head. Like, too, to me, because like to me, Field of Dreams has the, more. The last of two a you story. just named. Um, you said Field of Dreams, and what was the other one? Bull Durham. Bull Durham. See, Bull, Dur- Bull Durham's got more baseball with a little yeah. bit of love. Then you go see. I think you got to think of the rookie, even though it's a newer movie. Mm. It's more about a, it's more baseball. And then even the rookie of the year, what he mentioned there was a good movie. I thought I'm too. gonna leave that to y'all because mine would have been the Bad News Bears. So it's just me. I yeah, but is movie. it the new one or is it the old? No, it's the original. One? It's the original Bad News Bears. It's See, like to one. me, I like Summer Catch. A lot of people didn't like Summer Catch, what about but I liked bench it because it was it was it was the Cape, the it was Cape Cod League. I Sorry. love the bench warmers. And nobody likes to talk about the Cape Cod League. Um, I don't have any problem with any, any of those. I mean, I don't have a problem with any of those. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, and I like The League of Their Own. My wife, that's one of her favorite movies. I think it's yeah. got to go on there. And it just has to be like if there's a little bitty mountain beside the Mount Rushmore. It, there's a Mount Lee. Right. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to It's hill past less. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's, <laughs> four, it's four. It's on the back. So yeah. we'll do a four. We'll just talk about League of Their Own two. Where did uh, I got a pin? So, Bull oh. Durham, Field of Dreams, so League of Their Owns three, and uh, we was talking about Major League versus comedy versus a uh, baseball movie. I like Major League. I would have All it right, on there. So you guys got and see, there's another one he didn't mention, and it's the Natural. I said, I mean, yeah. you did say that? okay. I, I, if I didn't, I don't know. That's Google's that fault. Was, that was the first one we put on there. Who? What? Sandlot was one. Yeah. Sandlot. He, he said that. Field of Dreams. We had Field of Dreams. These are nominations. Field of Dreams. Bull Durham was was mentioned. Uh, Major League. And I, I, I like Rookie of the Year, but I wouldn't put it on top four. Uh, a League of Their Own was mentioned, too. And I like The Rookie. So you basically have a couple different uh, categories. Uh, refresh my member on The Rookie. The Rookie is where he's the science teacher, high school head baseball coach. It's he a goes true back story. There for one year. And he goes Tampa and, he, Bay. and he makes and it in Tampa Bay. Guy. And he makes it all the way yeah, up and gets that. to pitch in the game. Good movie. And that was actually a true story. That's I mean, Dennis Quaid. Yeah, Dennis Quaid. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a good movie. Good, good actor. <sighs> um. So you, you, you've got, and this is the Mount Rushmore, so we've got to narrow it down. So you've got some different choices. You've got comedies, you've got kids, and you've got serious kind of baseball movies for, for the most part. Uh, so that's really kind of the the categories I would look at. Sandlot has to be the best kids baseball movie. Um, and see, you, I, I, me personally, I was let down. I felt like they could have done way more with 42. I felt like they, they I, rushed. I did they not rushed, say that. They, I think they you need to watch it. I think they rushed through the Jackie Robinson story. They could have spent a little bit more detail. They mm-hmm. made it very gimmicky. It right. didn't give a lot of, I mean, like movies like Glory Road, they made Glory Road out to be 
about basketball and, mm-hmm. and African American play and that, and, you know, but they rushed through 42. They, whereas a movie like 61 took a lot. I mean, that was a very long drawn out movie. All right. This isn't a baseball movie, but I want to nominate it as having baseball in it. Uh, cause I think the movie was fantastic. There was a little bit about the movie it had to do with baseball life. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, and one of the slaves in there, his name was Kent Get Right, but he could hit a baseball yeah. 20 miles. Right. The dude was, it was really cool. Uh, Eight Men Out, I thought yeah. was really good. Uh, I really liked that movie. I really liked, uh, The Babe was a pretty pretty fun movie. You mentioned Angels in the Outfield. Angels in the Outfield was fun. My kids liked that one. Um, uh, this is what I'm going to go on these. Um I think Major League is the funniest one. Yes. If you're going comedy, Major Leagues go through there. Rookie of the Year fits in there because of the uh, the ma- the manager, whatever his name is. Mm. This is hot ice. <laughs> you heat up the ice cube. <laughs> so, so let's break it down this way. The best kids one is Sandlot. That's on the list. The best yeah. comedy, I think, is Major League. Yes. Then you have... The best historic. I guess most historic would be a league of their own. Then you have... Very, basically, very basically the serious. Three, those are three good movies. These, this is basically the serious type. They are fun. They're they're good movies too, and they are funny. Field of Dreams, Bull Durham, and League of Their Own. I, I, I almost got them all even. And I'll God. tell you, I'll tell you another serious one, and it's only because I was a pitcher. And I'm gonna be honest: when you pitch the game of your life, the two movies that kind of relate to pitching were Summer Catch. And, but the most important, I think, like the real. But honestly, Summer Cat should be on the, on it on 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 it just because but, of uh Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel. But honestly, um, for the love of the game, you know Summer. You don't remember Summer Cat? No, I know who Jessica Biel is. <laughs> for the love of the game is I don't know if you, if you've ever seen it. You know it's, like it the whole perfect game. He lives his whole life, and I'll be honest with you, there was a, I can think of one game in my career where I didn't think about baseball while I was pitching. And I had a lot of things that I, were going through my mind that was not baseball. That was just like, it, I don't, I don't even. Know, it's like an out of the body experience. And, and I've tried to read on why that is and why that felt the way it did. And then I watched that movie and I was like, well, there it is. So that movie, I guess that movie for me ranks out very high because of a moment that happened right over here at Fraley Field. Okay. Um, I was gonna show Hunter some summer catch. Uh. The swimming well, pool. that's there why they. Go. That's why they gets rated in the. Or, that's why he gets nominated when, when he's wearing a t-shirt on his head. He's mowing the grass. <laughs> he mows over her mama's petunias. Yeah, I'd have mowed over him myself. Well, that when she was getting out of the pool there. Yeah, she got out of the pool and was walking to her chair to go <laughs> yeah. stand. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> that was the he wrecked. Uh, all right, so Sandlot and are we saying Sandlot and Major League no matter what? Yeah, that means we would have to kick out Field Bull or League if I had to choose. If I had to choose, I'd get rid of Field of Dreams. I, I was thinking Field of Dreams, Bull Durham. Uh, one of them has to go and leave a league, a, leave a league of their own on there, and then pick between the last two. Just for the historical value, you'd have to leave a league of their own. Yeah, Bull Durham, I just like Bull, that. Bull Durham has more baseball and real minor league baseball yeah. than Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams is more of a story yeah. tying into family. I think if you didn't play. Baseball at a certain level, I don't think Bull Durham resonates with you at all. No, I mean, because you got to go to James Earl Jones' speech. That's what makes Field of Dreams Field of Dreams. Right. When he gives that speech at that point in the movie, that in itself makes that entire movie worth watching. I, I would. Because uh, when he talks about his poetry, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost like a poetic satire just in his whole speech there. See, League of Their Own, if that comes on, I don't feel like I have to watch the whole movie. I could watch parts and enjoy the parts yeah. that come on. Um, Bull movie, Durham, I, I feel Rose like I'd have to watch the whole movie. Bull- uh, just just to, because every, you know, it's just it's just a continuous one type of story to where, you know, Sigourney Weaver's doing her thing here and there and, and yeah. Kevin Costner. And, and to me, that one is, uh, man, that's tough to throw one of those but out. See, like, but I have to have, I, when, when you guys were discussing it in the hall, my one that was going to have to be in it was Major League. Major League, I definitely. just think that is just the because you absolute, got, that's, you, got you can't have more, it's fun. That's the baseball announcer's fun. great. Bob Euchre. Bob Euchre. Just but you can't go outside. you can't go past it. Like honestly, the Wild Things first ever close at the end of that game is 
I mean, say hey, Willie Mays. Oh yeah, Willie Mays Hayes. <laughs> that, those you, were awesome. I mean, have you seen the colleges that made like before they're like preseason where they're remaking those videos of like the training camp, like back to uh, actually major league. Yeah, and they had like one of their runners. They took his bed and they set it out there. And he took <laughs> off running the sixty and passed everybody. A lot of people do when they're fundraising. A lot of high schools here lately have been doing the the Mastercard commercial. It's like where's the blah blah blahs, and you don't even know it. All right, Hunter, Field of Dreams or Bull Durham. I don't know. Field, field of dreams. Field or ball. So Hunter says field. Hunter, field Zach. of dreams. I'm gonna say bull drum. <laughs> Philip. We're gonna have two to two, ain't we? I'm gonna go field of dreams. I was gonna go field too. Okay, three to one. So. All, there. Because James Earl if Jones is my, my kicker. If you ask anybody that's not a baseball fan, that. they're gonna say field. I agree of with dreams. that. Well, and, that's just because too is. It's a more well known. Well, Bull Durham was an older movie. Yeah, a lot of people didn't have right. watched that movie. I like Bull Durham. It's just it, to me, it's a baseball. Like I couldn't watch that with my wife, probably. Or, or no, because the very opening it's, it's scene all about when baseball. the stud pitchers. Like, and well, besides that, it's baseball and sex. That. But <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, three, three eyelids, boy. Like like there's so much in that 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 you know with the, the the way they talk to the umpires. That's such an old baseball movie that if you haven't played baseball or been on a field, it just doesn't seem to me like there's a lot. It's, it's traditional. It's and, not the new age baseball, right? Uh, I think that's more of a true almost baseball story as as opposed to Field of Dreams. That basically or, gives us or, our, or uh, our our four for the back. Well, who's your back then? I mean, that basically la- la- lands them. You got Bull Durham, mm-hmm. Summer Catch. What about Natural? Oh, I like uh, Rookie of the Year. Zach likes Rookie. I say, yeah, the Natural's a good story because Natural's a great story. It's actually they. What was the third one? Oh, Summer. Summer Catch, The Babe, um, Hunter. Any any ones you want to say on the? On I wouldn't the, even on have this? a problem putting Angels no, in the outfield. Really. What about what about Bad News Bears? He did uh, earlier. That he was said one that, was his that favorite. I that was in line, but I'm I like comedies more than anything. So I got another one that we haven't even said: baseball, hardball. That wasn't on the list. Who was that? I said bench warmer. I, I, I might have can, skipped it. What is it? How do you say his name? Keanu Reeves? Bench warmer. Yeah, it's on here. Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. It's on yeah. here. I it's just about the it. little inner city baseball team mm-hmm. that he goes and coaches. And I don't think I've seen it. Hey, what about bench warmers? That's what That's I said. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> basketball. It's not baseball. <laughs> what? It's basketball. The best video. Have you ever, what is the video with Adam Sandler and all them? And it's like the game of baseball, and he makes the rules. You need to check that out. I don't even know what movie it's in. It's like literally if you YouTube and put the game of baseball, and it's Adam Sandler, and uh, it's the guy that does the on um, Mr. Deeds changes his socks. Mm-hmm. That little guy, he's the uh, he 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 talks about how they came up with the game of baseball. It's the it says the history. Of, that's it. The history. That's of baseball. my boy, man. Okay. Oh, uh, he's like you. He strikes him out. He goes, all right, you're out. And he goes. No, in this game you must have three strikes. I've seen that. To be out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> they just talk. <laughs> kind of like a uh, who's on first type yeah, of it's, it's baseball great. thing. He's teaching them how to play baseball, and everything he makes rules, mm-hmm. he fails at. Were you on he the, makes real baseball rules. Were you on the team when Mason would go out there and do the Kenny Rogers song? Oh, you're talking about when they throw the ball? At the yes. Right? I know. I was actually in the stands <laughs> watching it. Did as, you see? You've seen that fool do that. Yes. You know the song? Hmm. I am the greatest. Player, is Kenny Rogers got a baseball song. He goes, the ball goes up. He's throwing. He's a little. He's seeing him as a little down, kid in the backyard back, and he throwing the ball up and hit himself. Oh, this fool, the best player for the team is out here between innings when they play the song, throwing the ball up and swinging and missing with the song. <laughs> he's also the same guy that nut. walked into um, the state tournament, <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, God. the regionals in the World <laughs> Series. He walked in. So Cherville was late, and I, I heard this because some of the guys that played with him. They said they walked in the state tournament, um, and they were late. And yeah. he picked up a glass, and he's ding, 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 ding. Everybody just want to let everybody know the champs are here. The champs are here. So he goes into regionals. Goes into regionals. They are late on purpose because Coach Reynolds is a little superstitious. Picks up an actual, like, glass with water in it. Ding, ding, ding. Stands in a chair. Hey, everybody, just want everybody to know Cheryl's here. The champs are here. The rest of you can uh, fight for second. And they ended up winning it. I mean, and it was just I one know, of those. I things. know Chris's dad and mom, and uh, he looks just like his dad, but about five inches, six inches taller. His dad's short. If you ever met his dad, Rock and Rick, he's about this tall. <laughs> he drove a truck. But Rock, uh, he looks like his dad now that he's bald and everything. But if he wasn't Bobby Dale's son, <laughs> the way he acted and stuff, so it was for his baseball field. He, uh, he was a hunter. Um, 
Uh, or Philip, one, you know, this this sums him up. It, you pick a sport, pick any activity, uh, darts, wrestling, basketball. He might not be great at it, but he's going to be good. He's going to be the second best person yeah. uh, at it. Uh, one of the things he used to do, uh, this is something you can do with your friends whenever you, someone's following you, Hunter, and you don't know where you're going. See, this was back in the day. We didn't have MapQuest. Well, we had MapQuest, but you had to go and print it off. We didn't have GPS. So if you were following Chris anywhere, you had to be prepared to run a red light. Chris would stop at green lights, wait till it turned yellow, and then drive through and leave you behind. <laughs> I don't know what to do with someone who does that, but I'm just, I, 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 it's just uh, some of the weirdest, craziest things that, 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 that's some of the things that boy would do. Like, you just get, uh, Chris, I'm following you to your house. I have no idea where I'm at in Bedford City. All right. He stopped at green lights. I'm like, what's he doing? I don't know this kid. As soon as it turned yellow, he's going through, and I'm just sitting there. Just sitting there at the red light. Don't know where I'm going. We all look like jackasses because this guy's up here just sitting at the red, at the green light. You ever see anybody just sit at a green light just on purpose? So, yeah, that, that boy was a fool. All right, Hunter, uh, any of those final things before so we can move on to Saturday? That's it. It is 421 on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I want to make sure I got everything on mine before I get out of here, and I think I do. Uh, so I want to thank Philip for stopping in. Philip, how long are you in town? <laughs> Until they open the border back and forth. <laughs> so you've been kicked out of. Kicked out of think, I, I am a resident of North Carolina. What about your wife's opens. job and all that stuff? They're they're just on hold, just like we are. Okay, I just want, I, I, I knew that might. Didn't know if that was an issue. If y'all were split up or for anything or reason right now because of all this, or, or you're just traveling by yourself or anything. Or, just traveling by myself. All right, buddy. We'll take care. Uh, Saturday morning sports talk with Hunter, Tom, Terry, and myself, and JP on Saturday morning. And I want to thank everybody for listening and watching to the podcast on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll see you guys Saturday morning on ktcbroadcasting.com.